welcome to Political Gamma, part two of Recognising Fascism. Last time we looked at Robert Paxton's book, The Anatomy of Fascism, where we discussed what the mobilising passions of fascists are. Today we're going to be looking at the essay Ur Fascism by Umberto Eco. Umberto Eco was an Italian literary critic and novelist who grew up in fascist Italy. So this is a first-hand account of what makes fascism. In his essay, Ur Fascism, which he wrote in 1995, he wrote what the 14 principles of fascism are. Now, these are not a checklist where you have to check each one off to see if something's fascist. Actually, it's quite the opposite of that. It's things to look out for that make something fascist. As he states in his essay, it is enough for one of them to be present, for fascism to congregate around it. So, with that being said, let's get to it. What are Umberto Eco's 14 principles of fascism as laid out in his 1995 essay, Ur Fascism? One, the cult of tradition. One has only to look at the syllabus of every fascist movement to find the major traditionalist thinkers. The Nazi gnosis was nourished by traditionalist, syncretism, occult elements. 2. The rejection of modernity. The Enlightenment, the age of reason, is seen as the beginning of modern depravity. In this sense, Ur fascism can be defined as irrationalism. 3. The cult of action for action's sake. Action being beautiful in itself, it must be taken before or without any previous reflection. Thinking is a form of emasculation. 4. Disagreement is treason. The critical spirit makes distinction, and to distinguish is a sign of modernism. In modern culture, the scientific community praises disagreement as a way to improve knowledge. 5. Fear of difference. The first appeal of a fascist or prematurely fascist movement is an appeal against the intruders. Thus, Ur fascism is racist by definition. 6. Appeal to social frustration. One of the most typical features of the historical fascism was the appeal to the frustrated middle class, a class suffering from an economic crisis or feeling of political humiliation, and frightened by the pressure of lower social groups. 7. The obsession with a plot. Thus, at the root of the Earth fascist psychology, there is an obsession with a plot, possibly an international one. The followers must feel besieged. 8. The enemy is both strong and weak. By a continuous shifting of rhetorical focus, the enemies are at the same time too strong and too weak. For Earth fascism, there is no struggle for life. But, rather, life is lived for struggle. 10. Contempt for the weak. Elitism is a typical aspect of any reactionary ideology. 11. Everybody is educated to become a hero. In Ur fascist ideology, heroism is the norm. This cult of heroism is strictly linked with the cult of death. 12. Machismo and Weaponry Machismo implies both disdain for women and intolerance and condemnation of non-standard sexual habits, from chastity to homosexuality. 13. Selective Populism There is, in our future, a TV or internet populism, in which the emotional response of a selected group of citizens can be presented and accepted as the voice of the people. And last, but by no means least, 14. Ur fascism speaks newspeak. All the Nazi or fascist school books made use of an impoverished vocabulary and an elementary syntax in order to limit the instruments for complex and critical reasoning. There you have it, a very brief and quick introduction to the 14 principles of fascism as laid out in Ur fascism. I urge you to go out and read the essay. It's not very long. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Hopefully you found this very brief introduction helpful to introduce you to things you need to look out for 
in regards to fascism. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe. It helps so much to get these messages out there. And if you have found this video useful, please share it with your friends and families because the more people that know about this, the better chance we stand against fascism. I know, I know, it's coincidence isn't how I both want to grow my YouTube channel and the best way to fight these things is by sharing it, but hey, that's just the way it works out. So please share it, like, comment and subscribe. And if there's anything you liked in the video, leave it in the comments below. And if there's anything you think I could do to improve it, then please drop it in the comments below. As for now, that's all I have to say. So as always, stay beautiful and thank you for watching Political Glamour.